Hey guys, it's Drek, and today I'm doing my review of The Ultimate Berserker by Busby. As you guys know, I've got a problem with sales, and Mired Thoughts and I were running around town trying to find things at Goodwill, and we ran by a Target, and we found this, and I don't know if you can see this clearance tag, I will remove it because I couldn't believe it when I saw it, but we got this. There it is. It was a dollar and forty-eight cents. You can't beat that. I'd buy just about any new inbox blaster, except that other tiny one-shot Busby snipe blast thing for that price. I'm gonna cut it out now so I can demo it for you guys. But at this price, and I'm pretty sure these have 4B internals, it's just it's hard to beat. This is being a real pain. I'm gonna destroy this box. Alright, so there's four clips to get into this blaster. Once you take them all out, you get it. It's a heavy blaster compared to a lot of them out there. It comes with glow missiles, two of them to fire out of those 4B, which is the center of the rotating turret. And then there's a pump on the back. I can't tell for sure, but it looks like there's a dual action trigger on this blaster and that there's two separate kinds of triggers, and I'm assuming that one of them fires the 4B and one of them fires the turret. I'll figure out the priming mech. I think it's this foregrip here. The first trigger is the 4B, the second trigger is the dart firing. So I'm going to continue to take these darts out. Busby darts, in my opinion, are a lot worse than nerf darts in terms of overall construction durability and distance that they can achieve, but if you're going to fire out of a Busby Blaster, it's only fair to use their darts, even though it will typically fire nerf darts and it will usually fire them better. I'm only loading a few of these for my initial test fire. I'm not sure if it fires from the front or the back. Dual action trigger is really cool. If I decide to take this apart, I'll probably figure out some sort of integration for it. Here's the glow missile. Fits onto the, the standard firing mechanism. Alright, so firing this. Looks like it rotates the other way. Where does it fire from? This is awful. Okay, it fires from the bottom. The ranges I'm getting with that are not bad. They're certainly not as bad as Busby guns usually are. I think I'm definitely getting about 25 feet with a flat shot when I line up. Yeah, 25 feet flat would be a good estimate. I'm going to pump up from the back. Look at that, that's a much better plunger draw than the ultimate missile blast. I mean, it's got to be at least twice as much air that I'm putting into this thing. I'm waiting for the overpressure release valve to kick in. It sounds like it has. The front trigger will fire this, and it gets atrocious ranges. It's getting about 20 feet flat. With a missile and an air blaster, there's really no excuse for that. When things like the Nerf Titan can easily get 50 feet. Especially if you plug the pump or do basic mods to them. Overall, this was an excellent deal for $1.50. You can't beat that. And I'm pleased with the stock performance. And if I ever do a mod guide, I'll throw it up here. And I'll show you how it performs after that. It's far more likely that I'll take the internals out of this and do something exclusively with them. Thanks for watching.